Yeah. Okay, we need to get to music because that agency is the thing that's always yeah. treat me. Matt in our band, he wants to describe someone as the semi ridiculous nature of being in a band. And it's like, oh, it and is. It's all about being ridiculous, but yeah, it's. No, it is, it is, it is a quixotic um, behaviour, without a doubt. And, and, uh, and yeah, quixotic is the right word for it because, you know, you're, you're tilting at windmills thinking they're giants or vice versa. And it is really, you know, there's, to nobody's benefit. <laughs> it isn't. It's, it's just, uh, I mean, even, you know, I, I do the PA stuff and I go, yeah, I've worked with some great bands or bands that were great in the past or what have you, you know. I've worked with some fabulous musicians who, you know, most people, people say to me, well, who have you worked with? Who's famous? So I go, well, what about so-and-so? Well, oh, never heard of him. Well, well, you would have done, you know, but, you know, what they mean is who, who have you worked with who is on the telly at the moment is what they mean by famous. Um, as an example, a little while earlier this year, I think February's gig at Cranley, there's a guy called Jim Cregan. And you're going, who is Jim Cregan? No idea. No. You, d you don't know who he is. That's fine. Jim Cregan co-wrote all of Rod Stewart's greatest hits and was his guitarist. He has done all right. He's produced Katie Melua's albums. He was in Cockney Rebel when they re-released Come Up and Make Me Smile. So that acoustic guitar solo, that iconic solo, is him playing. And you've never heard of him, but believe me, he has done all right <laughs> in his career. The drummer that they had with him was from uh, Thunder. He was, you know, a rock, rock drummer. The singer was an old X Factor bloke from the seven, 2007 or whatever. You had a fabulous Rod Stewart voice. It was a genuinely brilliant evening but none of those people are famous in inverted commas because you've never heard of them but they are people who have genuinely made a living and and you know had a fantastic career by being very good and he was the most modest lovely bloke to work with he was dead easy he's just like well just, is that all right yeah yeah you know it's not too loud but um lovely player and the whole band were you know, absolutely top notch. As an example of, you know, being famous or making it, those guys have done very well, but they've effectively been backing men. They've been lucky. They've been, you know, Jim Cregan's obviously a good enough writer to get writing credits with Rod Stewart for, you know, the monster hits, which is cool. Yeah. But. But that, that in itself, that, that landscape doesn't exist anymore. Um, uh, unless, unless you're a co-writer, if, if you're lucky enough to co-write for somebody big. As an example, um, there was um, there's a, uh, a woman called Amy Wadge, uh, who used to play South Parade Pier, you know, sing a song, right, turn up with her guitar. Yeah, very nice. I don't know how she's managed it, but she's turned herself into a songwriter and she co-wrote half of their children's last album. Ka-ching. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. I think it's that so she's done the red carpet stuff out in LA, all that, all that stuff. And fantastic, good luck to her, you know. But how, how she did that, I've no idea. 